Hello everybody, it's Faith again and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to review these products, the Vice Cosmetics Phenomenal Lip Kit Matte Liquid Lipstick and Lip Liner and these two Vice Cosmetics Good Vibes Matte Lipstick. Um, maraming shades na available doon when I went to Trinoma to purchase this. And itong dalawa lang yung binili ko kasi kulang naman tayo sa budget. And the only shades that I purchased sa Vice Cosmetics counter sa Phenomenal Lip Kit is the shade Benjamin and Girly. So I have a solid review for these two products right here because I've already tried them. Pero ito, parang first impression got the date. So I'm going to show you lip swatches and review na din as we go through the video. As you can see, tapos na akong gawin yung full face makeup ko except for the lipstick. And I went for a very neutral eye look para safe tayo sa mga colors na napili ko today. So without further ado, let's proceed to the review and swatches. Let's go! So this is the packaging. I really love the packaging. It's simple and kung ano yung kulay, parang yun din yung color ng packaging. The claim of this lipstick is it is a vibrant pop of color on your lips that's light and lasts all day. It's smudge proof and comes with a beautiful matte finish. To make it fun and pretty, pair it with the ultra smooth glide lip liner. So again, this so again, this is in the shade Benjamin, and when you open it here, so that is what it looks like. My card yung sinama dito ang sabi niya, iwanan ka man niya, wag ka lang iwanan ng ganda. Kaya ito ang sayo para sa gandang pang matagalan. Vice ganda, ganda for all. Ayan. So cute of him. I think this is really his handwriting. Tapos parang, siguro photo copies or, you know. And then, kuhanin natin yung liquid lipstick. So that is what it looks like. I really, really love the packaging. It's so simple and classy. Ito parang metallic na fuchsia pink. Fuchsia pink ba to? Pero maganda siya. And this is the doe foot applicator. I love the doe foot applicator kasi para siyang Mas mahaba siya kaysa sa normal na doe foot applicator. That is the lip liner. Ayan yung tip niya. Naputol na to guys actually. Kasi nung ginamit ko, talagang naputol siya agad. Kasi parang nasanay ako sa mga lip, line, mga lip liners na meroners na meron na... Ayun, bumagsak na. Nasanay kasi ako sa mga lip liners na meron ako. Kaya I'm going to sharpen this before I apply this to my lips. Let's see kung mabilis siyang maputol ulit after sharpening the liner. Here's my sharpener. Let's try to sharpen it. Ito yung sharpener na ginagamit ko sa halos lahat ng mga pencil products ko. Grabe, parang wala. Parang wala. Grabe, ang tagal niya masharpen, guys. Tingnan niyo. Nako po. Sharpen ko nga pero nasira naman siya. Ay, ayoko na. Uh, try natin tong try natin tong ganito na lang. So, I'm going to swatch Benjamin first. Ah, nabali na naman. Ano ba 'yan? How can I swatch this? Ayan, yung kulay. Pero in fairness, pigmented siya, guys. So that is what Benjamin looks like. Then let's swatch the liquid lipstick. Ayan. So this is Benjamin, guys. The lip liner and the liquid matte lipstick. Okay, next, I'm going to swatch Girly. Oh nga pala guys, when you open this, may plastic to na naka-seal talaga yung box. And then eto din, may plastic din na naka-seal dito as well as the lip liner. Ito nga oh, may natira pa. I've also tried this one. Hindi siya naputol nung trinay ko siya yesterday kasi talagang super super light hand yung ginamit ko. Tulad ngayon, very light hand. 
Hindi naman siya na mapuputol if you're very careful. So that is girly. And then for the liquid lipstick, eto maganda siya guys. Itong shade na girly is parang red orange siya. Parang burnt orange. Ganun. Ganun yung shade niya. Parang ganun. Ayan. So that is girly and this is Benjamin. Between these two, I prefer a girly than Benjamin because si Benjamin it faded on me after I eat my lunch, and then nung mga 3 p.m. na yung afternoon snacks nagbread lang ako tapos ayun talagang nagfade na on the inner corners eto inner part of my lips yung natitira na lang itong outer and ang pangit na tingnan kaya tinanggal ko na talaga and then for the girly it lasted on me until I went home so mga 10 hours din yun it lasted on me so if I were you guys if you really want to try the Vice Cosmetics Phenomenal lip kit kasi parang Kylie cosmetic yung dating niya dito sa Pinas ano. If you really want to try this, go for the dark shades. Kasi yung dark shades, pareho silang very lightweight. Yung bang sa sobrang lightweight nila, manipis sila, kaya nagiging patchy. Hindi even yung application mo sa lips mo. I'm going to show to you later when I apply it on my lips. Hindi siya even yung application sa lips mo kasi nga lightweight siya and then manipis. But after two coats of these two, nagiging okay na den. But girly, which is darker than Benjamin, lasted on me the entire day. So yun lang. Let's apply Benjamin first. Paano ko ba to apply si Benjamin? Nee, napotol na. So I'm going to sharpen it again. Tira. Sharpen ko pa ulit. Piling ko, mabilis maubos tong lip liner kasi ang mabilis siyang maputol and then pahirapan siyang isharpen. Ayan no, hindi pa rin. Vines, bakit? Pero pigmented siya in fairness. Ow! Ano you guys? Yung bang may tumutusok-tusok na wood, kaya masakit siya. At saka, kaya nga mahirap siya i-sharpen. Nagkikita niyo ba? Parang may namumuo-muo. Pero pigmented naman siya. I think you can use this alone if you really want that very matte look. Kasi maganda siya and then pigmented din. When the liquid lipstick is dry, pareho na sila ng kulay. Kesa dun sa first application natin na medyo wet pa, magkaiba. Pero ngayon na nag-set na, pareho na sila ng kulay. So ayan, tapos ko nang ma-apply yung lip liner. Let's go to the liquid lipstick. Ayan, nakikita nyo ba guys? Hindi even yung application niya, di ba? So that is one coat. So that is Benjamin on my lips. Just one coat of it. Let's wait for it to dry and then um, let's see. Make sure if you have dry lips, apply a lip balm first or or scrub off the dry patches of your lips first. Because it emphasizes my dry areas of my lips, like on this part. And then, nakikita nyo ba na emphasize niya yung line. Guys, you can feel the process of the liquid lipstick drying on your lips. Because my tight feeling siya on your lips and actually it is really very lightweight kasi nga sobrang nipis niya so that is the lips when it's dry as you can see na emphasize niyo yung lines and then yung some dry areas dito ayan I actually really love the shade the same so let's remove this and then try girly this is what I'm going to use in removing this lipstick. And then, lalagin ko din siya ng micellar water from Garnier. Hindi siya pahirapan ma-remove, actually. Minsan, gusto kong mag-remove ng liquid lipstick ko gamit nung um, ganito. Kasi, at the same time, natatanggal niya yung dry patches ng lips mo. So, maganda na din to in preparation for our next shade. 
So yeah, it's completely off my lips. Ito, mas madali na siyang i-apply kasi hindi pa siya napuputol. Problema nito, pag hindi siya naputol, tapos pag yung bang na-consume mo na tong, etong part na to, so you need to sharpen it. Yung pag-sharpen yung pahirapan. So that is the lip liner. It's actually really pigmented, guys. Worth it naman siya. Kaya lang, madali siyang maputol and then mahirap siyang isharpen. Yun lang yung problema sa lip liner na to. So, let's apply the liquid lipstick. As you can see, mas, mas pigmented tong dark. Gusto ko talaga yung darker shades. Kasi mas even siya. That's girly on the lips. I'm sorry for the terrible application. So, on the lower lip, it's slowly drying here. It's still wet. So, makikita mo, mag-iiba yung kulay niya when it's dry. So, ayan. Even na yung color niya. Kasi dry na din yung upper lip natin. And considering Han na na scrub off na natin yung dry patches ng lips ko, pero ngayon na emphasize niya parin yung lines ng aking lips. But I really love this shade compared to Benjamin, kasi nga natry ko na to the entire day yesterday, and it lasted on me for 10 hours. For the Benjamin, it only lasted on me like mga six or seven hours tapos tinanggal ko na siya kasi talagang nawala na yung kulay niya sa inner corners of my mouth. I mean, inner corners of my lips. So, hindi ko pala na-test if it's smudge proof kasi ang claim nito is it is smudge proof. So, let's see. It is kiss proof. Let's see if it's smudge proof. Yes, it is smudge proof. Walang transfer. Ayan. May ito, merong konting konti lang, pero feeling ko from the dry, from this dry area to eh. It still looks good. Kiss proof, smudge proof, and transfer proof, so that's great kasi yun yung claim niya, totoo yung claim niya. So ngayon, isa-isahin natin yung claim ng Phenomenal Lip Kit. First is it is long-lasting. Yes, long-lasting for the darker shades. I can only speak for Girlie and Benjamin ha, but I guess it is true to all shades. I'm not sure, but that's my opinion. Um, long-lasting for the darker shades, but for the lighter shades, I'm not sure. I don't think so. Lightweight, yes, very lightweight kasi manipis nga siya and it is liquidy. Creamy, mm, yeah, pwede na rin. Pwede na rin siya maging creamy. Another claim is it is smudge proof and a beautiful matte finish. Yes, it is actually a very matte kasi nga it emphasizes the lines on my lips. That is an indication that the lipstick or the liquid lipstick is fully set. And talagang dry na siya and matte na siya kasi nga, di ba? Ayan, it emphasizes the lines on my lips. So, let's proceed to the regular lipsticks. For the regular lipstick, this is the packaging and naka-seal pa siya. So, tanggalin natin tong seal. Pareho sila ng kulay nung sa liquid lipstick. Itong top handle, metallic na dark pink or fuchsia pink ba ito? So, that is what the packaging looks like and the shade name is at the bottom ang sabi dito good vibes matte lipstick it contains 0.12 ounce or 3.6 grams and it will last you 24 months after opening the product so that's good i really love the packaging hindi siya yung cheap looking na packaging then ayan so this is in the shade kavogue you get 3.6 grams i think that's normal for all regular lipsticks so let's swatch this Again, this is in the shade Kavogue. I really love the shade name kasi vice gandang, vice ganda talaga. So, that is Kavogue right there. 
Actually, it is pigmented. I try natin ng one swatch lang ha, kasi ito parang tatlong beses ko siyang ginanon. So, let's try yung one swatch lang. I mean, yung one swipe. So, that is one swipe and this is like yung repeated na, mga four, ganon. So, pigmented pa rin siya kahit one swipe lang. I love the lipstick, yung shape niya. Kasi talagang it will hug your lips. So, that is Kavog. Next shade I got is a lighter shade para compare natin yung dark and lighter shade. So, this is Hayabayabayu. I don't know what that means. Hayabayabayu. So, that is what the lipstick looks like. And let's watch it. One, two, three, four, five. Ayan. Limang beses na pabalik-balik. And that is Haya Baya Bayu. Maganda siya. Let's see yung one, yung one swipe lang talaga. One swipe. It is still pigmented kahit one swipe lang. So, I'm going to remove this shade and then apply the regular liquid lipstick. Ito parang first impressions ko to kasi hindi ko pa to natry eh. Kasi guys, sadaling uh, tanggal itong liquid lipstick. Okay, let's apply first the Haya Baya Bayu, the lighter shade. And ayan, I really love the shape kasi it hugs your lips. So let's apply this. One swipe. The color is so light na parang hindi nyo nakikita kasi parang kakulay niya yung lips ko eh. So that's Haya Baya Bayu on the upper lip. So parang my lips but better siya, no? Magkakulay siya ng lips ko. So let's apply it at the bottom. So that's Haya Baya Bayu on my lips. Ang sabi dito, matte lipstick daw to. Pero I don't think it's matte. Semi-matte siguro pwede. Kasi hindi siya drying sa hindi drying yung feeling niya, may moisture pa rin. So, so that is Haya Bayabayu. Let's remove it and apply Kavogue. Again, this is Kavogue. Let's apply. Oh, one swipe goodness. I love it. Yan. So that's just one layer or one swipe on the upper lip and it is pigmented. So let's apply on the lower lip. Alam nyo yung amoy niya? May amoy siya guys. Pero hindi ko alam kung anong amoy ito eh. Parang basta may amoy siya. So that is Kavogue on the lower lip. Three parang tatlong swipe or 3 to 5 times na swipe ko yan. And this is just one swipe or one layer. So, compare one layer and then 3 to 5 layers, I guess. Pigmented pa rin. So, let's, up, let's add to even out the color. So that is Kavogue on my lips again. The claim is it is a matte lipstick, but for me it's not a matte. It's like a satin lipstick. Kasi may sheen pa rin siya eh. Kahit dyan sa camera, may sheen siya. Dito sa mirror, may sheen din sa totoong buhay. And I don't know you guys. Parang patchy siya tingnan, di ba? Nakikita nyo ba? Kasi dito on the center lip, na-emphasize niya yung parang may dry dry dyan na area dito kaya darker siya dito parang light nakikita nyo ba sa camera? zoom ko nga diba guys hindi siya even dito mas parang mas dark dito sa center ay ewan ko I think I like it 
This is 199 pesos pala guys and this retails for 299 parang ganun. So if you ask me if it is worth it, yes, it is worth it for the price 299 but for the phenomenal lip kit if you really want to try this go for the darker shades as well as uh, dito sa Good Vibes Matte Lipstick go for the darker shades. So far dalawa pa lang naman kasi yung na-try ko itong Haya Bayaba You and the Kavogue but so far I like both pero mas prefer ko pa rin yung darker lip shade. So I'm going to update you on the description box below if this lasts me the entire day. So yun lang guys. That's it for this review guys. I hope you like it. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.